Okay, hi, and welcome to lesson five of energy resources and energy transfers. So just to remember the last lesson, we, we started looking at how um, heat can be transferred. Uh, well, last two lessons, we looked at heat travel by convection. Remember, that's in a fluid, either in a liquid or a gas, when the hot fluid rises. Uh, we looked at how heat is transferred by conduction. Okay, so remember, that's when particles vibrate, they collide with each other, so they bump into each other, and the vibration is passed along. And uh, today we're going to look at the third can travel, transfer, there, there is one other way. Now, normally if we did this in class, we'd start off with a little experiment, uh, and I'd give you two, um, two jars or cans, so either made of glass or metal, okay, and the, the jars will be identical. Uh, one would be painted black, sort of a matte, so not shiny black, uh, and one would be either shiny or, or covered in silver foil. Uh, and we go outside and we put thermometers in the cans and we take the temperature every minute or so. Now, I don't suppose there'd be a great deal of shock to you uh, to find out that the, the can that is black um, heats up the fastest. And most people know that black absorbs uh, heat. Okay, so if we, if we did this experiment, we'd, we'd find that the black uh, heated up. Uh, okay, and that's because the black is absorbing infrared radiation. Now, if you remember, we did talk about this in the electromagnetic spectrum topic. So just slightly longer in wavelength than red light is infrared light. Our eyes have not evolved to see this, but we do have sensors in our skin that can feel it. So if you go out in the sun and you can feel the heat of the sun on your face, uh, that's not visible light you're feeling, it's the invisible infrared radiation. A student, uh, when I first started teaching, so way, way back in 1995, one of my students said, Sir, is it like hot light? Uh, and actually, that's a very good way of describing it. Now, if you look at this diagram here, the heater is giving off both visible light, so we can see the red light coming off, but it's also giving off the invisible infrared radiation. And just a reminder there, there's our electromagnetic spectrum. So remember, these are all light waves. They're just light waves of different wavelengths. And it just so happens that eyes have evolved only to see uh, the wavelength in the middle, which is what we call visible light. Okay, but slightly longer wavelength than visible light, we have infrared radiation. Okay, and I think everybody knows this, that black objects are good absorbers of infrared radiation. Uh, you know, that's why objects look black, isn't it? They absorb light, they don't reflect light. Um, uh, you know, black is just the absence of light. Okay, uh, and I think equally most people know that shiny objects reflect infrared radiation. So here's a picture of Nottingham Forest winning the Champions League in 1979. On the right there is Peter Shilton. I think he still hold, holds the record for the greatest number of caps by an international goalkeeper. He played for England. On the left is Ian Boyer, who's a midfield player. Uh, okay, now we'd follow this up with a, a slightly different experiment. Uh, this time I'd give you the same cans, but this time we'd fill them with hot water, with boiling water. Uh, and this time we'd watch them cool. Uh, so we'd do a similar experiment, we put thermometers in the cans. This time they're full of hot boiling water at 100 degrees. Uh, and we'd take the temperature every minute as they cooled. Okay, that would be the, experiment, the instructions for the experiment. Uh, and this is a, a typical example of a result. Now if you look at this very, very carefully, okay, you'll see that actually, you know, after three minutes the black can has gone to 79. The shiny can is 82. So in fact the black can is... It's, it's cooled quicker, and if, it, if, you, if you go down all these results, you, you'll see that actually the, the, the black can cools quicker. By the time after we've done 12 minutes of the experiment, the black can is down to 47, the shiny is 60. So it appears that this time the black can is cooling down quicker. And that's because, now this is, is what most people don't know, is that black objects, as well as being good absorbers of infrared radiation, Hot black objects are very good at emitting infrared radiation. So a lot of not people know this. Now, if you think about this, this makes sense. Uh, if I was to take uh, a black object, let's say a bag or a pair of shoes, and put them outside in the sun, uh, we know that they would get hot because they would absorb it infrared radiation. But they just wouldn't get hotter and hotter and hotter until they burst into flames. You know, they'd reach a sort of a maximum temperature. Here in Qatar, I don't know, maybe 60, 60 degrees or something, and they wouldn't get any hotter. Now, when you think about it, when they get to that maximum temperature, they haven't stopped absorbing infrared radiation. They, they must still be absor absorbing, you know, very well, but they're at the same temperature. So they must also be giving out heat at the same rate. Yeah, so if, by definition, if they're good absorbers of infrared radiation, they must be good emitters. 
Okay, so most people don't know this. Uh, and that's why if you go to a, a Chinese takeaway, uh, certainly in the UK, I'm not quite sure about here in Qatar, uh, your, your food is, is served in, in foil containers, shiny foil containers, because that keeps them hotter for longer. Uh, okay, so this is what you need to know. Heat can travel through a vacuum by infrared radiation. So, you know, the heat from the sun can travel through space. It doesn't need anything to travel through. Black objects are good absorbers and good emitters of infrared radiation. And the opposite is true. Shiny objects are poor absorbers and poor emitters. Uh, okay, well, to go with this um, lesson, there's a worksheet similar to the we've done in the last few lessons. So it's, it's on Word. You download it and show my homework. Answer the question on Word and then upload it on Show My Homework. Uh, and most of the questions are to do with, with how we use either shiny or black surfaces to cool objects or to heat objects up. Um, so, for example, in space, keeping spaceships cool, uh, ironically, is, is quite a problem. Um, uh, and, and, of course, heat energy in the spaceship can't escape by conduction, because space is a vacuum. It can't escape by convection for the same reason. So if you want to cool a spaceship, you have to encourage the energy to leave by infrared radiation. Uh, so somewhere on the spaceship, uh, there will be black surfaces, radiators, to give away that heat energy. Uh, okay, uh, well, enjoy that. Come to the workshop on uh, Monday and Tuesday if you've got any questions about that. Have a good weekend.